In today's video, I will show you three thoracic controlled articular rotations, or CARS for short. Notice how I'm set up in a tall kneeling posture with my ribs stacked over my pelvis and my glutes on. Trying to maintain this posture without getting all your motion from your lumbar spine will be one of the major challenges of these CAR variations. With the thoracic rotational CAR, you will turn to the left and right slowly and controlled. Pause and take deep breaths when you feel tight space. Keep your imaginary laser beam on your imaginary belt buckle pointing forward at all times. As the name suggests, the flexion extension thoracic car will improve your ability to move through your middle and upper back. You will also improve your overhead mobility as your back regains its ability to extend as your arms move overhead. As you extend your spine, feel the muscles of your back engaging all the way up your spine until the top when you're pointing your chest towards the ceiling. As you flex your back, move one vertebrae at a time until your chest is pointing towards the ground. Make sure to keep your abs engaged and the ribs pulled down to the best of your ability for the duration of the movement. The full thoracic controlled articular rotation is basically the rotational car combined with the flexion extension car. It's helpful to think about making a circle with your medicine ball or with your chest as large as you can. To begin this movement, you'll start with your back fully flexed. You will rotate as far as you can to one side and start to extend the spine, keeping your abs locked in. Point that chest to the ceiling in an arcing motion as you rotate to the opposite hip. And again, flex, keeping your hips and core locked in position. Rotate back to the start, then reverse the movement. One trip in each direction equals one rep. Don't feel surprised if this movement feels awkward at first. With diligent practice, you will regain body control, improve mobility, and reduce your risk of injury.